Today in The Sims 4, we're going to be renovating this weird base game home using a random color and aesthetic. This is a build challenge I really like to do for Sims 4 renovations. I've renovated pretty much every apartment in San Machuno using this method, and it always ends up with a really fun result. So at first glance, this house in Willow Creek isn't even that bad. Like it has a balcony over there, a nice big front patio. It's pretty decent in size. But when you look a little bit further, you'll notice things aren't aren't quite right here. Like these windows are very uneven. This house has two doors that lead into the same room for some reason. The windows back here are all different heights and sizes, but then you go inside. And listen, this build itself is almost 10 years old. Builders in general have come such a long way since this was made. So at this point, it's kind of just funny because it's such a typical EA like before they started hiring builders and creators to make their builds. This is a timepiece. It is so dark in here and empty and just sad all around. Everything we see in this house will be straight from like the original Sims 4 release. We're gonna have no updated furniture, swatches, which we can clearly tell based on this living room. The kitchen is not much better in here. It's very basic, very boring. As we continue down the hallway, we have a bathroom, which is exactly what a hospital bathroom would look like. And the bedroom in the back here is honestly not that bad. Like there's a desk, we have some seating. It's just again, not that exciting. And then you go upstairs and this bathroom is definitely better than the other one. And then going across to the bedroom over here, I don't even know how to describe this one other than it looks like someone died in here. So we have this wheel here full of aesthetics and this wheel full of colors. So let's spin for the first one for our aesthetic and we're doing cowgirl coastal. Oh yeah, some of these aesthetics are weird. But anyway, let's spin for the color and we get orange. So somehow we need to make this look better in a cowgirl coastal orange aesthetic. Looking at the cowgirl coastal aesthetic, this is more of a fashion trend right now. So we're going to be building it with someone with that fashion sense in mind. This is what I could find for inspiration pictures for this and it's giving like a southern beachy vibe. So let me set my color filter to orange. And I think for Sims packs that we're going to be using today, we'll be focusing a lot on the Sims 4 horse ranch, which is obviously a ranchy pack and the Sims 4 cats and dogs, which has a coastal vibe to it. So first thing we're going to do is look at our options for wallpaper. And I'm thinking along the bottom floor, we tried this orange base game brick. And then maybe up top, we could try something a little different with this orange siding. Also, when we do this challenge, it's not like a solid color orange challenge. It's just the main color here has to be orange. So we can change the default roof paint it currently has to this brown one. And what if we used a white roof trim from For Rent? I'm thinking about bringing out the adjusters for that roof piece there. And then we'll just extend it back to that balcony so the roofing actually goes all the way back. We can't forget about this awkward back piece here. So already this is looking so much better. We haven't even changed the weird windows yet, but that'll be our next step. We're gonna delete these. And I was thinking about replacing those with these windows here from growing together. They've got the orange trim in there and we'll make sure that they're at the same height. Otherwise it's over for me. I feel like since they were lopsided before, now I'm just seeing them as lopsided, but I think they're good. Over top of those, I'm going to add these here from Seasons and we're going to start to bring in some of the horse ranch with these shutters here. I'm going to size up this big skull here from horse ranch. And underneath we can add these flower boxes with the orange flowers from Cottage Living. The more I look at this, it actually does kind of look like a boat. I wonder if that's what they were going for. It is next to this little canal and sometimes boats go through there. So this whole coastal theme might not actually be that far off. All right, now let's work on this front patio. We're gonna delete both of the doors and the windows. Let's do that growing together door with the orange wood and then we'll keep it consistent using the other windows from growing together in this singular window form. We can actually paint the ceiling of this build. See, like to be fair, the builder didn't have all these options at the time. They must know too, like whoever built built this house back then is probably such a pro now. Ooh, we could add these chairs out front. These are from Horse Ranch as well. 
maybe we can do a patio table right here. Just like a small table right by the front door. Maybe we can add some benches here too. Just like a nice big open seating area out front. And this is actually a lamp from Cats and Dogs. We could use that as our outdoor lantern. I feel like natural textures are gonna look really good with this build too. So I'm adding this woven rug here from Cats and Dogs. We'll replace the stairs with this orange wood from Horse Ranch. Oh, and we can do the fences too. Let's use these here. This looks so much better already. We're gonna use that same fence on these balconies back here. We'll replace both of these doors with these ones here from Growing Together. I also think these lights here from Cats and Dogs will work. And then up on the balcony, I was thinking about these Cats and Dogs chairs. And we add them around this orange dining table here from Growing Together. We can add some orange flowers here. This whole build is giving like summertime to me, but we still have to replace all of these windows. So I'm gonna try and keep them in the same spots. Growing Together is really good because they have different options for the same window basically. So we'll bring these in and then over to this side, the three of the same windows side by side is what kills me. So let's do one here and up top we can do one of the matching ones, but the singular version. I'm gonna bring those seasons awnings down that we used up top and we can't forget about the windows here in the back. We also have an orange barbecue. So I'm gonna add this one down here on the bottom patio. The landscaping on this thing is really not that bad. It's just a little bit bare. So I think along this wall, we're just gonna add some base game hedges and we'll just kind of fill it in with other orange flowers. Like we can add these ones here at the front. This was built at a time where you couldn't really even put anything close to the foundation. Oh, we can still change the foundation paint here too. And we still have a base game railing there. So I know we have this one here from Island Living. We can put this one in the back. Cats and Dogs also has a good one. We'll put that one right here. And maybe we do a little horse ranch one at the front as well. I'm gonna use some of these debug planters. These are just base game debug. And then we're just gonna connect these little pieces here using some terrain paint. All right, so this is how the outside of our house turned out. I'm pretty happy with this renovation. I think it looks cute. It definitely has way more character than it did. And the style is certainly not something I would have picked. So that's kind of what makes this challenge more fun. It's just like the randomness of it all. You're kind of just forced to go with it. This is what it looks like over to the side. I did add a swing set over there. I was thinking since we have two bedrooms, we could turn this into a family home. Look at it in comparison to the rest of the neighborhood. It's definitely standing out. That's for sure. Okay, now let's go tackle the interior. We're gonna try and keep the same aesthetic through the whole house using orange as our priority. So now that all our curtains are gonna be in weird spots, we're just gonna delete those. And I'm gonna replace the lighting in here with these chandeliers from Horse Ranch. I'm actually gonna bring them down the hallway here as well. And I wanna try and generally keep everything in the same spot. So we're gonna start off by replacing the dining table and we're gonna get rid of the red bookshelf too. We're gonna have to use an orangey tone for my flooring. And what are we gonna do about the wallpaper? Ooh, this is where it's gonna get tricky because these orange wallpapers are gonna look a little crazy for a sec. Let's try this for now. We've got the orange brick, the orange flooring. I'm doing like a brown eco lifestyle wood wallpaper. I know for sure I wanna use these chairs from Horse Ranch again. There's this orange eco lifestyle dining table we could use. And there's also this orange rug from the industrial loft kit. It also comes in this pattern. So maybe I could use that for my living room. We need some like beachy curtains. So I was thinking about using these here from high school years. Or there's also those ones from high school years. Which ones do we prefer? I'm gonna go with those ones. They look flowy. And then maybe right in front of the dining table, we do this big picture here from Cats and Dogs. We have this random chess table over here, which was in front of windows. But now that I move my door, it's kind of in the way. So we could maybe move it into this corner and replace it with some orange chairs from Growing Together. I've added a hutch right here. And then over in this corner, I think we should do maybe a kid's play area. Like we could maybe do this orange creativity table. Oh, the orange treasure trunk would be perfect. There are some other orange toys over here we could add. And then maybe we get a little bench here so they could put their shoes on. And now to replace this living room furniture. I really wanted to get a fireplace in the middle here if we could just squeeze over these windows a tiny bit. What do we have for orange couches? We do have this one from Growing Together. I definitely don't have the best options, but like we have rocking chairs. Those could be cute. Actually, these will totally work. These are from Horse Ranch as well. This rug could be giving coastal here too with like the sand. I think I want to bring in more of these from Dream Home Decorator. And then what if above the fireplace, we have this wheel. All right, we have our orange cowgirl coastal living room. We have a cute kids play area over here. And we have our dining table. Let's go down the hallway next 
next to the kitchen. First thing down here, we're gonna delete these doors and replace them with these ones from Seasons. I'm also gonna quickly go up and do the same thing upstairs. We're bringing up the wallpaper and the flooring from down there. And okay, this kitchen, we're going to replace all of this. What if we tried these counters from Island Living? We have so much space in here, so I'm just gonna continue wrapping them around. And we can do a fridge over here from Country Kitchen and we'll do the matching stove as well. So it's like Island Living, Country Kitchen, Cowgirl Coastal. The only issue is Island Living doesn't have any cabinets. So how weird would it look if we combined it with horse ranch? Let's try it. We're gonna bring them over top of the window and we'll just keep wrapping them around. I don't know. I don't think I mind the mismatching textures. And the good thing is we have a lot of orange appliances we could use like this microwave. We also have an orange coffee maker and Country Kitchen has some cute orange decor as well. And let's just use all of it. I'm putting up these shelves here and we can raise up some of these on top. I added a small trash can over in that corner and I think this kitchen turned out really cute. It's super cluttered. It looks very lived in as opposed to the one that we had in here before. All of those orange clutter pieces too are some of my favorites. All right, let's move on from our kitchen. I think we can probably go do a bathroom next. So we'll get rid of everything in here. I don't think there is even actually lighting in there except for that wall light. So we're gonna change that. And I'm thinking the orange cats and dogs tub is a given for this room. For wallpaper in here, we could go super orange. This is from Island living. I'm going to do some base game orange tile and we could use this orange towel from base game. We'll also use these ones for my sink which have the shell holders. We're going to do this sink with this mirror from outdoor retreat and we'll just do matching cats and dogs toilet. I think for decor the map pictures could be nice and I'm also going to put up a shelf in here from tiny living. As my bath mat I'm going to shrink this down from my first pet stuff. Oh there's even a little pattern on it. Maybe we'll use that one. Wait why is that kind of cute? Okay so so this is how our bathroom turned out. This is such a weird aesthetic to combine. Every time we do this challenge, we are asking for it. We're gonna get something strange every time. And I just added a plant in that corner because I had some room for it. Moving on to the kids room. First thing, we're deleting everything in here. And this is a pretty big room. So what if we added a platform? So I'm splitting the room in half. We're going to raise it up once and then we'll just delete that wall in between. I'm adding some mesh lighting from Dine Out, bringing in the same flooring and we'll use some orange tile platform paint. This wallpaper is from the Oasis Courtyard kit and I think this kids room is gonna revolve mostly around animals. So on the other side I'm adding this quilt. We could add these cute little animal wall decals just walking along our window and Horse Ranch also has this big barn dollhouse and we can surround it with these orange sheep chairs. Beside that I'm going to add a wagon from the Little Campers kit. We can add some stuffed animals on top of there and for the coastal aesthetic I found these flip-flop wall lights. Those are going on both sides of the room and maybe in here we can use those curtains that we were thinking about in the other room. Let's add an orange desk beside the door with the cat chair and this tablet swatch from the pastel pop kit has a cow on it. I'm adding outdoor retreat lamps to both sides of the room, adding an orange fluffy rug, an orange base game dresser, and I found this orange coastal art from Moonlight Seeker on the gallery. So I'm adding that right over top of my bed and I just used a sized up base game frame right on top of that picture. So this is how our kids bedroom turned out. I added a few more details including more of those flip-flop lights. I love this side over here with our sheep chairs and our barn dollhouse and I just added a couple more coastal pictures over here as well. So next we're going to go upstairs and next we're going to work on our main bedroom. So again just deleting everything in here. I'm using the same flooring that I've been using. We're brightening it up with a cats and dogs light and I'm going to use the same peach wallpaper in here except Except for this area where our bed's going to be, I'm going to add siding right behind. So we'll use the cozy orange seasons bed right in front of that. And I'm also bringing in my cats and dogs lanterns. Maybe we can use end tables from Outdoor Retreat with the matching lamps we've been using. And Horse Ranch also has this wall decor that I'm going to size down and put right over my bed. I saw a lot of hanging hat decor, so I'm using these baskets, hoping they kind of resemble those. I'm adding these four rent chairs in the corner with an orange mirror behind 
behind. And I also wanted to add this basket of towels from Seasons. We'll pull this area together with a rug and a table from Eco Lifestyle. And I also wanted to add one of the closets from Horse Ranch. That way we can include some of the actual Horse Ranch clothes. And we can use the matching dresser on this side from Outdoor Retreat. For final items in here, I am gonna add some barrels with some more plants, some Horse Ranch tapestries. And this is how our bedroom turned out. The warm colors and textures in here definitely make it super cozy. I added extra details like horse riding books and more coastal art from the gallery. I also added extra skill items like these two guitars. And then over in the bathroom, I didn't change much. All I did was swap out the wallpaper and flooring. I added some orange accents in here. And I also found this swimming sign from Horse Ranch, which I put near the bathtub. All right, so that has been us renovating this weird house in The Sims 4. This was it on the outside. And here's our transformation. And here it was on the inside. And here's our transformation. I hope you guys like this little build challenge in The Sims 4. And if you did, make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know any build challenge ideas you want to see me do in the future. And thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.